Okay. So um, we'll be talking about a little bit of property of Laplace transform. So it is a linear transform. What it means is a sum of product of, okay, let me put it this way. When finding the Laplace transform of a sum of a product, the result is the individual transform of each of the functions you are trying to transform. Sorry about that, but see, if you are finding the Laplace transform of two things, where will you have a plus and a minus, you have two functions, the result is always the individual transform of each of them. Then what if you are finding Laplace transform of a function multiplied by a constant, let me say two, three, four, five, six, what have you, your result is what? Factorize out that transform, and sorry, factorize out the constant and take the transform of what? The function. So let us look at these um, few questions. The few questions from here. So the first one says, what is the Laplace transform of 2 exponential 3t? Something like this. Now the first thing to note here is this. 2 is a constant. So that means this will then become 2 Laplace transform of what? Exponential 3t. What I've just done is to what? Factorize the 2 out. So that's the result that I have. So this will then become 2 times. What is the Laplace transform of exponential 3t? Now please take note, this is 1 over s minus what? Theory. So the final answer of this is 2 over s minus 3. I've already given out the table of standard transform. So I've already done exponential. So that is number one. Number two, the Laplace transform of 2 sine 3t plus cos 3t. Something like this. So over here we have two guys which we are adding. So what am I going to do? I'm going to simply take the individual transform of each of them. So this will become the Laplace transform of 2 sine 3t plus the Laplace transform of cos 3t. That's what I'm going to do. So right now, on this very part, 2 is a constant. So we can have 2 with the Laplace transform of sine 3t plus the Laplace transform of what? Cos 3t. So this will then become, what this become? This will become 2 dot, remember that dot means times. So this is 2 dot 3 over s squared plus 9 then plus Laplace transform of cos 3t is what? S divided by S squared plus what? 9. Please take note, how did I get those results? The Laplace transform of sine a t, for example, is always a all over S squared plus a squared. So that means the Laplace transform of sine 3t is going to become a here is 3. So this is equal to 3 divided by what? s squared plus 3 squared. And what's 3 squared? 9. So I believe knowing this is easy. Sine goes with a, then cos goes with what? s. That was why s is the numerator here. Why for sine? We're going to be having a at this part. Okay. 2 times 3 will give me 6 all over s squared plus 9, then plus s all over s squared plus 9. And looking at this carefully, the denominators are the same. So it means I'm going to be having s squared plus 9, then s plus what? 6. Remember I would have said 6 plus s, but it's still the same thing as saying s plus 6. So that's for that answer. Question 3. The Laplace transform of t to the power of 2 plus, okay, let me say minus 4t plus 7. Now what will be the result of this? Now please take note, remember that if you have a sum or uh, a difference, you are just going to do the individual Laplace of everything. So this is the Laplace transform of t to the power of 2 minus Laplace transform of 4t, then plus Laplace transform of what? 7. So that's what we are going to have. So right now, what is the Laplace transform of t squared? What will be the Laplace transform of t squared? Please take note. This will become 2 all over what? S cube. Because remember that C to the power of something is what? N factorial divided by, okay, 2 factorial divided by S to the power of what? Three. Okay. Then minus, what will be the Laplace transform of 4T? 
This will become 4 times 1 factorial divided by s to the power of 2. Because when you say 1 plus 1, you're going to have 2. Then plus Laplace sum of 7. 7 is a constant. So this is 7 all over what? S. 2 factorial is 2. Right? Yes. 2 factorial is 2 divided by what? S cubed minus 4 all over S squared plus 7 all over what? S. So looking at this, you can decide to take the LCM. It's your choice. You can decide to take LCM. So um, should I do that? Okay. So what would this become? This is S cubed. That's the LCM. So this is 2 minus 4S plus what? 7S squared. So that would be the answer to that very expression. Thank you very much for watching this very video.